good. How are you? Good. So good to see you. It's a beautiful afternoon. You're glowing as always. Oh, thank you. It is so nice and warm. Finally. <laughs> well, not finally. It's been like this for, I guess, a couple of weeks, but I love it. I love it. I know. I know. You're, you can literally bake if you stay for too long in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm so, so excited about this live. I'm so excited about to talk about hydration because it is so important, especially on these hot days. Totally. I like I was sitting, I like I've been sipping. Um, so this is uh, the turmeric tea's mint blend with pineapple juice. And I have a bottle of one liter water at my desk all the time. I just refill this. So I I, I like I start feeling it when I don't drink enough water. I start feeling, you know, not not functioning. My brain just doesn't function properly. Oh yeah, my energy goes down like crazy. When I first started really focusing on my water intake, it was one of the first things that I actually started when I uh, decided to really change my health. And I couldn't believe how good I felt just by drinking enough water. So yeah, I totally understand that. Like you know, when you don't get enough you start feeling like almost immediately like low energy, tired, brain fog. It's crazy. Totally. Totally. I totally agree. So yeah, so I think we have a few people join in. I would like to start with, uh, you know, introducing me, introducing you. Um, and then we can talk all things hydration. I'm super excited. Yes. Um, so hi, everyone. My name is Richa. I am the founder of Turmeric Teas. And today I have with me Kelly, beautiful Kelly. She's going to um, uh, tell us first a little bit about herself uh, and then, uh, you know, answer all questions about hydration. Um, it's uh, beginning of summer in five days. Is it five days? July 21st, um, the first day of summer. Um, we need to make sure we are all well hydrated and that today we are 85% water. This is one of the most important things that we can do for our health. Um, so Kelly, your floor. Okay, thank you so much for that introduction. <laughs> uh, I'm Kelly Carter. I'm a certified nutritional practitioner. I've been a nutritionist for about just over six years now and it's been it's more than just a career. It's a passion of mine and as we were talking earlier, Water is one of the most important habits to really make when you're really focusing on making a healthy change to your diet and lifestyle. You're, like you said, you're like 85% water and your body functions so much more efficiently and better when you stay hydrated. No, totally. And I, like, I'm a testament. I couldn't agree more. Um, there are days when I feel like reaching for coffee but it's actually drinking water that makes me feel better. It just coffee, just the smell of coffee gets me excited. But I, every time I drink it, it gets me um, right after drinking it or maybe 30, 40 minutes after, I just get this crash where yeah. I have to have to drink, drink some water. <laughs> and it's like, I actually have a tip on how you can make sure that you get enough water every single day. But we were talking a little bit before this that herbal teas and your turmeric teas, they are, they can actually count towards your water intake, which is phenomenal. Because a lot of people that I deal with and I coach, they some small percentage of them, some of them say that they don't like the taste of water, which, you know, it blows my mind, but to each their own. So mm -hmm. I really encourage people to try teas, herbal teas, because they really do like hydrate you as well as water does. And they give you a little bit more nutrition in too, which is an added bonus. Totally, totally. We have a comment uh, saying that their favorite tea is licorice tea and black tea with sage. Oh, that sounds really good. Oh, that yeah. sounds amazing. I've never had sage in tea, but I can imagine how good it'll be. I One of my favorite teas, apart from yours, I love the turmeric teas. I absolutely, like I've been telling everyone about them. Uh, just the blend of like lemongrass and the mint that you have and um, do, you do chamomile, right? That's no, another no chamomile. Oh, There's that what, 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 oh, no, no, no. The, um, uh, what am I thinking? Ginger. Ginger. Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Yes. So those are all teas that I absolutely, like I drink them all the time. And then with the added turmeric and just knowing the benefits of turmeric, yeah. it's just another level that you reach when you drink your teas. They're phenomenal. Okay. Um, and 
one of my favorite ones uh, of yours is the lemongrass. I find that just very calming. Yeah. Kind of a calming tea. And then when you add the turmeric to it, it just, it gives you that, it's still calming, but it gives you almost that energy from the turmeric. I love it. It's um, amazing. Amazing. Thank you. So yeah, a little bit about how I started, right? Like I met so many people who were trying to add turmeric to their diet, but they had challenges with either the color or the flavor. So I'm glad you said you, that how much you like the taste of it is I wanted to break that barrier. I grew up in India. Almost every ailment for almost every ailment, my mom just made a tea and gave it to me and I made me feel better. So not just turmeric, there are so many spices or all these spices and herbs have benefits to heal us from inside. And I wanted to combine that all to bring it in a form of tea. Um, so, to, you know, to make you feel better from inside without uh, needing to take medicine. Um, and that's, the, that's how turmeric teas was born. And each blend that I created based on what spices or herbs together would either energize you or calm you or cool you down um, or warm you up. And those are our four blends. That's it. We don't do um, X flavor and then Y flavor. No, it's just four simple teas. <laughs> And that's all you need. Like a lot of the times when I'm coaching people, I really try to bring it back to how simple the body the, needs it to be to respond well. And I think that's another reason why I love your teas too. Cause it's when you start adding all these like flavors and crazy things, it takes away from what the body absolutely like is asking you for. Yeah. And it's um, again, it's another reason why I love your teas because of the simplicity. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I am so happy. All right. So let's jump into your tips. Like I would love to know how to stay hydrated. Like what, what advice do you normally give? And Okay. So a lot of people ask me, uh, even if they're not clients, they will just ask me, how much water do I need in a day? And, you know, my honest answer to them is I don't know what it is for you. Because it really depends on how active you are, how, like, how tall you are, how much muscle mass you have, because muscle carries a lot more water than body fat. And there's just so many different areas that can be unique to how much water like, you personally need. So I always recommend, you know, the whole eight glasses of water a day? I think yeah. we've all heard of that. Yeah. That's a really good place to start. Yeah. And the way that I like to track that is you mentioned you had a one liter bottle with you at all times. I do as well. So I make sure that I keep track of how much I drink by these elastic bands. Ooh. So I try to get three liters of water a day. Every single time that I'm finished a water bottle, I'll take one of the elastic bands off and then I know I have two liters left to drink. And at the end of the day, if there's no elastic bands with who I've done it, if not, I'll try again the next day. But it's a really good way, especially if you're a visual learner. Yeah, that is such a smart, sneaky tip and easy, easy peasy, right? Like, just yeah, everyone has elastic bands, right? Yeah. And another thing too is like, some people are like, well, what if I lose the elastic bands? I would just move it to the top of the water bottle to say, okay, I've drank one liter and I have two liters left. Right. So it's a really, I can't remember who told me that tip or where I found it at first but it's such an easy tip and I think a lot of the viewers are going to like listen to this even later on and be like oh my gosh I can totally do that I know so, mm -hmm. I always tell people to start with the eight glasses which equals two liters of water a day right. and you know the more water the better it's the other the other thing that I tell people is try to get one cup of water every 45 minutes and I started doing this by putting a timer on my phone. But when you think about it, 250 milliliters, a cup of water in an entire hour yeah. shouldn't be that difficult. I and know. you know, the reason why we don't get enough water is because we're just so busy yeah. or we're drinking other things like pops, juices, milks, other things, right? So that's the reason I love what you're doing with your teas and why we're talking about water today is because the only other thing that I consider to go towards your water intake is herbal teas because there's nothing really in herbal teas that the body is trying to digest and extract mm -hmm. in like large amounts. When you start drinking juice, coffee, milks, 
there's a lot of things like that there's caffeine there is a lot of like heavy nutrients that the body actually has to digest and it takes a lot of water to digest it so it's almost like when you're drinking coffee your body dehydrates itself to actually get extract all the nutrition and the caffeine from it so the only other beverage that i count towards water is herbal tea amazing i did i had no idea that milk wouldn't be counted or like let's say oat milk or any kind of milk wouldn't be counted towards water intake and That's it's only because and again this is something that i practice it's only because there's so much that the body has to digest and extract yeah. and digestion takes a lot of water right it dehydrates you essentially and that's why i really recommend people drinking water before and after their meals in order to make sure that they stay hydrated you answered my question i was about to ask i'm like so do you recommend drinking water with food <laughs> so some people can drink water with food other people say that they their digestive system doesn't allow it right again when i coach people it's on a one to one basis and it's really personalized right. so i never tell anyone you have to drink water with food but definitely drinking water around meals is so beneficial amazing what is your take on um having a glass of water when you wake up in the morning love it oh my gosh the best thing that i ever did with my health is i drink 1 liter of water before i do anything and i feel fantastic in the morning now even yeah. on those cold winter days i actually do room temperature water you can do warm water as well yeah. um it is the it's the start of my day and it it honestly is the best thing that i've ever done for my health and a lot of health professionals in like my industry will recommend this because it just it flushes everything out it gets your body ready for the day and you're already down a liter which is fantastic Yeah no that's a good tip i i normally have like a glass but not really a liter um you know what oh, it's it is a bit of a stretch and yes. i i tell people to even start with half a glass cuz you know a lot of people will come to me and be like in the morning i i feel yeah. i can't do anything except my coffee and for those people i say can you even do like one to two sips of water anything to just start that metabolism up so yeah. get your hydration where it needs to be in the morning Yeah, I guess because all night we've not like for 8 10 hours we've not had any liquids, right? So I guess that makes that makes total sense. What about water temperature? Ooh. So you actually might be able to speak a little bit more on this because I remember when I was studying holistic nutrition we had a whole uh unit on uh Ayurvedic yeah. uh, medicine and how they view how foods and liquids should be consumed. So I know that warm is usually accepted better in the body. But again, when I coach people, some people hate warm water room yeah. temperature. They can only drink it with ice. If that's the only way you're going to drink water, great, but I think even scientifically, room temperature or warm water works better cuz just think about it. Think how think about what the temperature is like once you go inside your body. It's quite warm. Yeah. So when you like especially right in the morning if you have a cold glass of water especially with ice it's almost like shocking the body like, <laughs> like oh my goodness so i recommend room temperature or warm water but you know some people say that they they can't do it and i'm i'm okay as long as you get the water in yeah no totally uh, i i i i i agree with that like ayurvedic medicine does talk a lot about um keeping the temperature even for food keeping the temperature as close to the body temperature versus uh too hot too cold um and how it impacts the um they, what they call is a digestive fire or agni um and uh, yeah and then and and how that really impacts everything else that we do um on a daily basis right so uh, we don't realize how much our gut plays a role in almost everything like <laughs> everything oh, <laughs> i tell my clients you are only as healthy as your digestive system totally. if your digestive system is compromised in any way your health is being compromised and you know when you really start thinking about it it just makes total sense yeah. you consume food you have to digest the food properly you have to absorb it properly and you have to remove it properly if the, if something in that system isn't working totally. then it's actually going to affect your health totally and it's it's just so funny like as 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 i was growing up i never even thought about that 
Like I grew up in India, I grew up in that culture and my mom kept keeps, you know, telling about focus on drinking a, a lot of water, but you know, when you're at least how I was in my early 20s and late teens, um, it was all about uh, myself, right? <laughs> oh yeah. I wish I knew what I knew when I was that age, but I don't even know if I would listen to myself at that age. I know, and I had seriously, I used to get headaches on a daily basis. Um, I was, you know, I'm sharing on like constipated like all the time because I was not drinking enough water. And I lived in a really hot country. Um, and, and, and it's just once you start drinking this beautiful, beautiful thing uh, that's free. <laughs> Um, it just it just takes uh, takes takes it away, you know. Another thing I've heard and tell me, like I don't know, it's like an old wives' tale, or I don't know if it has to do anything with science. My mom always tell me to sit down and drink water. Don't stand and drink water. Hmm. You know, I've never heard that. I've <laughs> never heard that. That would be very difficult, especially to my like busy clients who are always up and running mm -hmm. like I mean when you're I've heard especially like when you consume food that you should be in a very I, I guess rested state yeah. not doing anything crazy so maybe that's where it comes from maybe. but you know especially with the Indian culture the way that they understand and they treat food and water and everything is it just makes so much sense to me mm -hmm. I remember again I remember taking that Ayurveda course and it was so eye-opening and, and the like, um, I remember I was like more of a Vata. I don't know if that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's like my characteristic and everything. And I remember looking at like the background of it and, you know, like just the way that you look at like real food and everything is just amazing. And again, the way that you have brought turmeric teas into uh, like Canada and spe like specifically Toronto, it just it's so exciting that we have access to such amazing culture like this, and it's uh, something that again I've been telling all my friends about, and I truly love what you've done with I, tea. It's just so exciting. I am so glad. I'm so glad you like it. It just it makes my day when. Um, it's like your baby, right? Like when, as an entrepreneur, everything you create is like they're your children. Uh, so when someone compliments your child, it just, uh, it really okay. makes it. it. I do a happy dance every time I hear um, that, you know, someone liked it or when we get reviews on how it has impacted or made a positive difference in people's lives. Um, it just makes my day tremendously. <laughs> yeah, and you can really tell, like, especially you said this business is your baby. You just, you can tell that you've put so much of yourself and your passion into this. And it's, uh, it's one of the reasons that I've been so excited to connect with you, too. Thank you. Thank you. To me, um, like, we have, actually, maybe I can show. So on this wall, we have the three values that our company or that have driven the company. So it's, like, passion, integrity, and hard work. So to me, um, connecting with people with passion, like yourself um, and anyone, like for me, it was a journey to get to where I am today. I, I, I did different things um, before this. I worked in fashion, I worked in uh, CPG marketing and I felt uh, that I didn't fit. I didn't feel that what I was doing is what I was meant to do. And it took me over 15 years to actually finally find something that I really enjoy. And it's not just about entrepreneurship, right? For me, it's, it's about, I think it's about creation. It's about creating something that not only makes a difference in my life, it makes a difference in, you know, someone who's consuming their life. Plus with our buy one, feed one model, it makes a difference in life of someone else in need, right? It's, it, that just, it makes me so content with, with, the. Uh, with my life and I feel that's what living with passion is like and you know someone like you 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 are living your passion this is this is what inspired you and you know I just I love to connect with people who who have passion because you bring all yourself when you are working with passion and it starts from passion right exactly and there's so much authenticity and you know what you and what I do when it comes to health that's something that's very serious, especially to me. And there are so many 
gimmicky things out there that they're just like people are just trying to sell you for a quick fix and I don't believe in quick fixes I believe in making like a true change to your lifestyle and that's why so many of my clients have been so successful because I don't go over like all that fluffy stuff I really talk about okay what do we need in order to make sure that your life and your, your new lifestyle is something that you can see yourself doing for the rest of time and that you're happy with especially uh w with what your health goals are Totally. Such a great point, right? Especially in today's world, there is, there is so much misinformation um, and there is so much marketing behind a lot of stuff that uh, uh, promises quick results, but there is no golden pill. Like when people ask me about, oh, you know, if I take this, will it fix this? I'm like, I no, not, there is no one thing that fixes everything. You, you need to make healthier changes to your whole life. Uh, you can't and I'm, I'm not even a nutritionist but I see in my my personal life how even working right like it's not just about eating and drinking it's since I started doing this work like working um, with passion where your heart is um, and the joy and how that really um, makes a positive positive impact on your health right like I used to have this back ache which I have no, I've like last five years, I've not even had a single episode of, uh, you know, that back. And before that, I used to go to my RMT and she used to massage like, oh, I think once every 15, 20 days, I had to go and get a person. And after that, when I go to her, she's like, why are you even here? Because <laughs> there is no tension in my body. Um, oh, that's amazing. And, you know, that's, it's something that, I, I, I want everyone to experience because, but it's so difficult in some people to really let go of, you know, certain job securities and stuff like yeah. that. But when you're able to, I, I honestly truly believe that if you are super passionate about something and you are willing to put the work into it, yeah. that you will be successful. And I mean, look at you and look at me. Like it's, it's the thing I say all the time is if I can do it, anyone can do it. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> special in like any crazy way it's just I have the passion and I have the drive to do the work totally I like I, th I think hard work pays off in the end um for me it was uh golden handcuffs that I had to leave like I had a corporate job um but the the pain was so much that seriously breaking through um even then people ask me that that was a big risk you took such a big risk I'm like but you have no idea how much satisfaction and joy it has given me um, to break through from that and start something on my own and, uh, and make a difference. Like I, I think we all human beings are somewhere um, connected or, or, or programmed to make a difference. That's something that makes us happy. Um, and we have to just figure out a way to be able to do that. And, and that just brings, when you make someone else happy, it brings joy to you. It's just that's how... Okay. <laughs> no I, I agree for sure so I want to tell people about the giveaway that we are, are doing right now with Kelly yep. um, so Kelly tell your part of it and then I'll give you a box <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm giving away a one hour discovery call and this is really what I love to do with every person that I meet we are going to get down to what your goals are and we're going to make a plan to achieve those goals. You're also going to get a few of my recipes that I don't share with anyone except my clients, as well as a couple of the, um, they're almost like journals in order to help you even further. So you get a choice from four of them. Amazing. That's, healthy. That's the first step to a healthier life is knowing what you really need to do, right? Because all our bodies are so different, different people, uh, react differently to different things. And from Turmeric Teas, you get this beautiful gift box. It has all our four blends. Let me see if I can open. So you can try all the four blends. Yeah, so I have Winter, Summer, Dusk, and Dawn. Um, and all those delicious teas have so many healing benefits. So go on, um, join the giveaway. I think it's still the 21st, I'm not 100% sure, but you will find it in the blurb on our feed. 
So go ahead and do that. And thank you, thank you, thank you again, Kelly, for doing this. You are so welcome. Thank you for having me on. Of course, of course. And, you know, looking forward to, you know, seeing you fly, be successful. I am so proud of you um, and your beautiful family. I follow you on Instagram and I keep eyeing those pictures. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And, you know, I'm honestly... I can't say it enough, so I'm going to say it again. Your teas are amazing. They are so calming and energetic at the same time. They're simple, but that's exactly what the body needs. And they, like, we were talking about kind of adding, like, sweeteners and stuff. Yeah. Not even needed. I love that idea, though, that you're adding, you added that tea that you're drinking now to some, like, pineapple juice. Yeah. I love that idea. I'm totally going to try that. Yeah, I just blended pineapple, like, I'm not much of a, I don't like chewing pineapple. I don't know. There's something it leaves on my tongue. But if I blend it in the blender, it doesn't bother me. So I did that. And then I just added mint tea to it. So it's a pineapple mint. I love it. Cooler. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to try that for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's some recipes online too. So please, if you're looking for something nice and cooling, try that. The, the mint tea actually is even when you drink it warm, you feel the cooling sensation because it's a very strong peppermint. And the idea is to cool you from inside. So it's like an air conditioner in a glass. I love it. <laughs> Have a wonderful one, Kelly. Yes, Thanks thank to everyone you. who joined. Um, I hope you learned something about hydration. If you have any other things that you want to learn, please uh, reach out to us. We want to do these series on a weekly basis. Um, invite someone who knows what they what they're talking about in nutrition. Uh, clear some myths because there is so much myth around food, um, and and just you know live a healthy life because health is wealth, guys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful one, Kelly.